But in all seriousness, I come here with a heavy heart today. Something real is going to happen in this room before we leave here. I said something real is going to happen in here before we leave here. 1 Kings chapter 18, verse 41. I want to read three different translations of that verse. But our main one it comes from the New Living Translation, and it says, Then Elijah said to Ahab, Go get something to eat and drink, for I hear a mighty rainstorm. 1 Kings 18, 41, the voice. I hear a heavy rain coming. The message said this way, rain is on the way. I hear it coming. But there's three things there I want you to notice in those verses, but they're all the same. I hear it coming. I hear the sound of an abundance of rain. I want to share with you for a few moments today, if you can hear it, you can see it. Father, I ask you now to anoint your word. Anoint me your servant. God, I've already been in prayer this morning. And in the foyer, God, I felt the heat of Bakanda, the Boshaya, the Shakana Mohora, the Bayandea, the Shekinah glory of God. I felt it come down in the foyer. And Lord, it brought tears to my eyes of what I felt in your presence. Now, God, I just ask you to take your liberty in this room and speak to every heart, every life, every soul, and let your will and your purpose and your desire be fulfilled. In Jesus' name, amen. You may be seated. If you can hear it, you can see it. When he said here, I hear the sound of a mighty rainstorm coming. One version said, I hear the sound of an abundance of rain. Elijah did not say he saw it, but he said, I hear it. Can I tell you, if somebody hear me today, the sound is your sign. The sound will be your evidence that rain is on its way. I hear the sound of an abundance of rain. That means that my ear has picked up a signal in the airways. My ear has picked up something unusual that I haven't really heard before, but I'm hearing it now, and I'm picking up that it's going to be something very different, and it's going to be something very Powerful. Sound equals vibration. Study it out. Sound equals vibration. My ear has picked up the vibration of something that is coming. I can't see it yet. I can't touch it yet. I don't feel it yet, but it is on the way. And I want to stop right here and ask every person here and every person online, what are you hearing in the Spirit today? What are you hearing in the spirit realm right now? When 120 men and women had gathered in the upper room, they were waiting for promised power that Jesus had told them about. He said, enter into the upper room and pray and seek the Lord, and the promise would come. And the Bible said, after they had prayed and sought the Lord, it said this, suddenly there came a sound from Heaven. I like the way it started out. It didn't just start out with all the, it started with a sound. They heard something. They knew it was coming. The evidence was there. It was like a mighty rushing wind, and it filled all the house where they were sitting. There was a sound, and I want you to get this. The sound was the indication. The sound was the evidence that something was coming. But can I tell you, after they heard the sound, suddenly cloven tongues as of fire appeared upon each of them, and they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave the utterance. Amen? But it all started with the sound. And then when the sound came, listen, their sound changed. When the sound came, the Holy Ghost fell upon them and their mouths began to open and they began to speak in languages they had never spoken in before. They began to say things they had never said before. They began to share things they would never shared before. But it all began with a sound. I hear the sound of an abundance of rain. When Elijah had spoke these words, I want you to get this. It was at a time and a place when not one drop of rain or not one drop of dew had hit the ground for three and a half years. 
Rain hadn't didn't, had not come. They had probably just about forgot what rain was. But Elijah said, I hear a sound of an abundance of rain. Can I ask you this? What did that mean? When he said, I hear a sound, let me tell you what it meant. It meant precious rain. It meant a precious commodity. It meant something that they had not seen or evidenced in a long time, but it meant that God was moving on their behalf. It meant life. It meant recovery. It meant restoration. It meant the rivers will flow again. Fish will be caught again. The crops will grow again. It meant there will be joy where there has been sorrow. It meant there will be laughter where there has been weeping. Do you understand when he said, I hear the sound of an abundance of rain, it meant that life was about to change. Everything was about to be different. And I want to tell somebody in this room, the rain is on the way and everything's about to change. I said the rain is on the way and everything is about to change. Say this with me, it's on the way. Say it again, it's on the way. Oh, listen to me. Help is on the way. The answer is on the way. The breakthrough is on the way. And that may not mean nothing to some of you folks listening to me, but to somebody hearing me, it means everything. To somebody hearing me, it means the world. To somebody, it means that where they've been so bound, broken, and torn apart, their life is about to come together again, and they're going to walk in joy, peace, and power, and the glory of God one more time. Amen? Can I tell you, when you know it's on the way, it'll put fire in your belly, and it'll put a fight in your spirit. When you know it's on the way, it'll put a fire burning inside of you and it'll make you stand toe-to-toe with the devil and nose-to-nose and say, shut up, devil. Get off my back and get out of my way because here I come in the name of Jesus. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. I feel him in here. I wish I had two hours right now. God help me. Change is in the atmosphere. I said, change is in the atmosphere. The sound is the sign. I want you to hold on to that today. The sound is the sign. Faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. There's a sound. The word sound, listen, does not mean noise of racket. That's what we think about, but it doesn't mean noise of racket. It means proclamation. It is a decree in the spirit realm. When he's talking about sound, he's not talking about a racket. He's not talking about a noise. But he's talking about a proclamation that's a decree in the spirit realm of God. And one way it says this, this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. It's a sound that says you are victorious. It is a sound that says you're an overcomer. It is a sound that says you're coming out, you're coming through, and it's going to be all right in Jesus' name. You're coming out, you're coming through, and it's going to be all right. All right, in Jesus' name, amen? Now let me ask you, what does rain mean to you? The rain is God's power visiting your life in whatever area or areas that are in drought, lack, broken, or empty. The rain is God taking every pain, every plan, every plot, every scheme, every weapon the devil has launched at you and turning it around for your good. Somebody listen to me. The simplest definition of all is this. It is answered prayer. And Wes, I like this. God is going to turn it around. You hear me when I tell you, hey, man, it may not look so good right now, but God's going to turn it around. Oh, give the Lord a hand in here. Don't you patty cake. Give God a hand. E.M. Bounds, one of the greatest men of prayer that ever lived, said, God does nothing except an answer to prayer. So if things seem to be stagnant around you and nothing seems to be moving, you need to check your prayer life. Look over at your neighbor and say, how's your prayer life? If they're staring at your shoes, just lay your hand on them and pray for them. Amen. Please hear this. God will do whatever it takes to get it to you if you don't quit. 
I said, God will do whatever it takes to get it to you if you don't quit. Keep on praying. Keep on praising. Keep on confessing. Keep on singing. Keep on dancing in the presence of God. I said, keep on dancing. Come here, Greg. Come here, hurry, son. Don't jump, but dance for me right here a minute. Keep on dancing in the presence of God. Keep on dancing in the presence of God. Keep on confessing. Keep on praying. Keep on shouting, amen. Woo! Don't hear this. Don't let the devil see you sweat. Thank you, man. Don't let the devil see you sweat. Delay is not a denial. Doesn't mean God doesn't care. Doesn't mean God didn't hear you. Doesn't mean God's not going to answer. It just means delay. Abraham was delayed 25 years, but not denied. Joseph was delayed 15 years, but not denied. Lazarus was delayed four days, but not denied. Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 3, For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie, though it tarry wait for it, because it will surely come and it will not tarry. Then here in Numbers 23 and 19, God is not a man that he should lie, nor the son of man that he should repent. If he said it, he will do it. If he said it, he will do it. And if he has spoken it, it will bring, he will bring it to pass. Now that being said, let me give you something else. Every time you pray, you're putting pressure on the spirit realm. And you're filling with expectancy the clouds that are bringing your blessing. But let me tell you where it started. It all started with a word. I said it all started with a word. And let me leave this with you. All you need is a word from God. A rhema word from God. A specific word of specific purpose. A specific time. That's all you need from God. Tell your neighbor all you need is a word. If you got a word, somebody hear me. If you got a word, you can make it. If you got a word, you can dance in the fiery furnace. If you got a word, you can sleep like a baby in the lion's den. If you got a word, you can beat the famine with a little bit of oil and a little bit of meal. If you got a word, you can walk on water. If you got a word, but can I tell you, it takes a word intertwined with faith. I said it takes a word intertwined with faith. Faith can see a weapon of mass destruction in the jawbone of a donkey. Faith can see a meal in a multitude for a multitude in a little sack lunch. Faith can see a whole business in a room full of empty jars. Amen. That's what faith does. That's what having a word does. Faith can see a king and a simple, smelly shepherd boy. But it started with what? A sound, a word, and faith. Oh, God, I hope you're getting this. A sound, a word, and then faith. I don't care how big your problem may seem. Somebody hear me right here. I don't care how long it has existed. The promises of God come in a concentrated form. And all you got to have is a little word from God, and that little word of God will set you free. That little word from God will turn it around. That little word from God will change your life. That little word from God will take everything that's wrong and make it right. That little word from God will bring manifest miracles. That little little word from God will give you life again, joy again, peace again, power again. Oh, hallelujah. Jesus said all it takes is faith like a seed, a mustard or a mustard seed, and you can command the mountain to jump into the sea, and it's got to go. Hear this, preacher. I believe there is mountain-moving faith. Rising up in this house right now. 
I said, I believe there's mountain-moving faith in this house right now. I believe there's drought-busting faith in this house right now. You want me to tell you why I believe that? Because some of you are sitting on the end of your seat right now because you can't wait to see what God's going to do next. And it makes you feel like God's fixing to do it right now. Well, let me just say it to you. I hear the sound of an abundance of rain. Hear this preacher right now. Something is shifting in the atmosphere in this moment. I said something is shifting in the atmosphere right Get up on your feet. Get up on your feet. Something is shifting in the atmosphere right now. 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 Oh, something is shifting in the atmosphere. Something's changing. Something's different. Something's new. Stay where you are. Listen to me right now. The drought is breaking and the rain is on the way. I said the drought's breaking. The rain's on the way. Your spirit has been dry for so long, but rain is coming. You felt so distant from the presence of God, but rain is coming. You've been going through a long, dry place in your family, and it seemed like it's just getting worse and worse, but God said to tell you, the rain is coming. The rain is coming. The rain is coming. It's time for rain. Let me tell you what's in this house. The anointing's here. I said the anointing's here. I said the anointing's here. Prayer warriors, get up here. Hurry. Hurry. Pray with my prayer people. Get up here. Hurry. 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 The time of rain is here. The anointing is here. Yokes are being destroyed. Burdens are being lifted. Joy is being restored. Peace is being restored. I'm going to slow down just for a second. I want somebody to hear this and hear it clear. Somebody's getting ready to see a manifestation of what God has told you in your spirit. Somebody's getting ready to see a manifestation of what God spoke to you in your spirit, of what God said was going to happen in your life. You're getting ready to see a manifestation. They used to sing a chorus when I was growing up. Pastor Leon, you'll remember this. They used to sing a chorus when I was growing up, and it said this. Send down the rain, Lord. Send down the rain, Lord. Send down the ladder rain. You ever heard that one? That's just part of it. I'm not a singer, but you get it. That's just part of it. They said, send down the rain. But then they went a little further, Robert. There's joy in the rain, Lord. There's healing in the rain, Lord. There's dancing in the rain, Lord. There's freedom in the rain, Lord. There's Holy Ghost power in the rain, Lord. Now, what does that have to do with you, me, and me, me? I'm going to tell you what it has to do. If you want the joy that's in the rain, if you want healing in the rain, if you want to dance in the rain, if you want freedom that comes in the rain, run down here right now and get ready to get drenched by the Spirit and the power of God. Come on, don't walk so... Come on, get out here. Get out here. If you're ready to get drenched in the presence of the Lord. Let me tell you something. Some of you got... I feel this on my heart. You've had joy. You know what joy is, but right now it's gone. Some of you, you've had peace. You've had power. You've had the anointing, but right now it's gone. Somebody hear me. You need divine healing in your body right now, and you need it desperately. Well, I shouldn't have to beg you to get it. Here's the big one. There's people all over this room listening to me right now. Understand what I'm fixing to tell you. You need freedom, and you need it now. Only, only you know why you need freedom. It may not be a freedom from an addiction. It may not be a freedom from some kind of sin that's held you bound. You may just need need freedom because you've had such pressure in your life lately. You've had such hell coming against you. You've had such adversity against your life. It seemed like everywhere you turn, something's gone wrong or everywhere you turn, something's been adverse and you just need to be free. Well, I listened to what this video said earlier and I heard what every one of them said about being free and some of you don't have that right now. I'm just being honest with you. I'm just telling you what the Lord spoke into my spirit. 
but all it takes is one step toward God. All it takes is to get under the spout where the glory comes out, as they used to say. All it takes is to get in the place where the rain is falling. And when the rain falls upon you, let me tell you something. It'll open up every prison door. It'll break every chain, every adversity off your life, and it will bring freedom to your spirit.